GPTV, the most informative channel. Welcome to GPTV News Broadcast. My name is Faith Shariot. Now we start off our news with politics in the county of Kajiado where the deputy president took his campaigns. Speaking in Loy Talk Talk, he has asked politicians to cease from too much threats and insults as we approach the 2022 elections. This comes about after the president's statement which he asked Kenyans not to elect thieves and also it will also um, avoid Kenyans from being divided in matters of tribalism and hate. Take a look. Najua ya kwamba tunaelekea katika mambo ya mchaguzi mwaka ujao. Na tungependa kama wananchi wa Kenya tujikumbushe ya kwamba we made a covenant as Kenyans that we will never allow politics again to divide us that we are going to be united our politics will be non-violent non-divisive non-ethnic so that we can unite the country even in our politics namunajua hiyo foundation rafiki yangu rais wa jamhuri ya kenya na mimi tulianzisha na tukasema Lazima tubadilishe msingi wa siasa zetu za Kenya. Tuondoe chuki, tuondoe migawanyiko, tuondoe ukabila. Ndiyo tuweze kujenga foundation ya siasa ya Kenya ambayo ni ya kuunganisha wananchi na vile vile siasa ya kupanga mambo ya maendeleo. Mimi nataka ni waulize wote. Pamoja hata na wale tunawashindana tunashindana na wao tafadhali tuache blackmail tuache threats tuache intimidation tuache kuuzia watu uoga wa Kenya wamekataa mambo ya blackmail threats na kuuzia watu wa uoga now, to Oka leaders who have reprimanded President Kenyatta, saying that they won't be coerced from supporting ODM leader Raila Odinga. In their opinion, they say that they will still stand strong as the Oka party, and they will soon come with one candidate who will, they will, who will um, carry the flag as being the president in the 2022 elections. Siku moja tu baada ya wakelekea tuwa muungano wa One Kenya Alliance kukutana faragani na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Katika kile kinachodaiwa kuwa juhudi za kuwaleta pamoja, kushirikiana na kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga, viongozi wa OKA wameonekana kutofautiana na mtazamo huo, wakidokeza kuweko mashinikizo wasio yapenda. Wewe ndio una uwezo wa kuchagua kiongozi wako. Tuachane na porojo ya watu kujaribu kutushurutisha na kusema ni lazima awe hule ama ule. 2022 tupatie wananchi ruhusa ya kuchagua viongozi mambo ya watu kukua projects ati serikali inataka kuchagulia mwana, kiongozi wetu tumesema tumekataa tunataka mwananchi mwenyewe achague viongozi viongozi hao wa One Kenya Alliance wamekutana na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta zaidi ya mara nne huku mikutano ya hapo awali ikimjumuisha Odinga mkutano wa jana sawia na mingine iliyoandaliwa awali ulihitimika bila ya natija yoyote nilisema hayo nikiwa kakamega na mimi narudia hapa na nitarudia kila pahali the leadership comes from the people and the people must decide kwa hivyo chukua kura you are the one to decide who is going to be the leader of this country not a few leaders seated somewhere and imagining that they shall decide who shall be kenya's leaders ukiangalia hii team ni face of kenya Hatutembee mtu mmoja tunataka kuunganisha Kenya kutoka Mombasa mpaka Turkana. 
wanaoka sasa wakishikilia hawatalegeza kamba katika mchakato wa kutaka kuliongoza taifa wale ambao wamekuwa kizunguka zunguka wakiwaonga na pesa waliowaibia nyinyi waulizeni waulizeni muangalie kwa muangalie mtu kwa sura umuulize hizo pesa hayo mahelikopta hiyo nasema mama mboga ngoja naonyeshe vile mama mboga atapasa pesa yake wale ambao wanapora mali ya wananchi mali ya umma tuwafanyaje Umejua hiyo utasikia mengi mbele Kinara wa Waipaka Lonzo Musyoka akichukua fursa ya kunadi sera yake ya kuimarisha uchumi kwa kuleta mfumo kwa wakenya wa kufanya kazi kwa zamu ili kufanikisha uchumi wa masaa 28 Ukipunguza ushuru kwa asilimia msini kila mtu atakuwa na pesa mfukoni hakuwa na maana hakutakuwa na maana ya kuambiwa bottom up economics hiyo bottom up economics nataka mjue tumesoma sana hiyo ni watu wanataka kuleta mambo ya harambe through the pacto yani upatue handout wanaitwa Kenya nataka haki sio udanganyifu Now let us cross over to Homa Bay County where the residents are asking ODM leader Raila Odinga to give leaders who want to get elected under the ODM party the freedom to do so that he should not involve themselves himself in such politics where he doesn't want anyone to get um, elected under the ODM party. Sana nataka kukua kuambia chama cha ODM chama chetu chenye tumepigania ili Raila Molo Odinga kuwe rais wa tano wa Jamhuri la Kenya. Ndio maana tumetokelezea sisi kama vijana, ndio maana tumetokelezea sisi kama watu wa, wa, vijana wa Homa Bay wenye, wana, wenye wanataka uzuri ikuwe katika kaunti hii na ikuwe katika Jamhuri la Kenya. Tungependa tuambie Raila Molo Odinga kuna kikundi kimetokelezea kuharibu chama chetu kwa nia yao wenyewe kutafuta watu wengine wachache ili wanunue kwa hali ya kuwadanganya watawapatia tikiti ya ODM lakini hiyo tumekataa tunataka chama chetu cha ODM ifanye nomination katika watu wa yetu wa Homabe na Kenya nzima sio watu wachache kukaa katika hali nyingine ama katika ofisi nyingine na kufanyia watu wa Homabe nominations tunataka watu wa Homabe wafanye nominations yao watu Kenya nzima wafanye nominations yao Mtu mwenye atakaye jitokelezea mshindi achukue tikiti awanie kiti hicho na ikifika mwezi unane mwaka ujao tupatie Raila Amolo Odinga kura kwa zizo jambo zote zinafanya watu wa Homa Bay Kenya nzima wakose kuchukua kura kwa sababu watu wengine wanawafanya wakose hiyo nia ya kuchukua kura hatutaki pati uh, picking hatutaki chama il, il, wafanye nominations na delegate tunafanya tunataka watu wetu wa ODM wafanye nomination vyao kivyao ki na mtu mwenye atakaye buka mshindi achukue tikiti awanie hicho lakini nataka kuambia Raila Molo Odinga afanye kampeni zake juu za Homa Bay atuachie sisi vijana na wamama na watu wote wa Homa Bay tutapiga kura 100% na tunataka sisi pia wenyewe Our SMS line is on 0722442574 and you can also find us in our Facebook and YouTube pages at Gashie Prestige TV. Now, the director of Ahadi Kenya is requesting the government to add Kenyans more time to get registered even as the exercise is expected to end tomorrow. Speaking with uh having met with the chiefs and the elders of the Nyumbakumi initiative, he told them to go into villages so that he can educate uh, the people on the importance of this exercise. Have a look. Today we are here to appreciate the work that has been done by the Nyumbakumi. We need to appreciate more the Nyumbakumi, uh, this men, uh, the Nyumbakumi initiative. It needs to be more empowered so that because these are the people at the bottom of this of the communities. They are the ones who actually know each and every person who lives within them. They are the ones who actually know who is a visitor and who is not a visitor. We should not ignore the Nyumbakumi initiative at all. What we've agreed is that at least within this sub-county of Kegumo, they are going to mobilize the young people 
or the people who have not registered as voters. And at this point, I want to appeal to the government, IABC, to extend the voter registration period. Because it's, this one is expiring on Sunday. Most people have not even registered. They are not even aware. They don't read the newspapers. They don't even listen to the radio. They don't even have phones. So they are not aware about there is a registration going on. So I want these Nyumbakumi Wazes to go door to door, giving the information about the voter registration. And also, what I've appealed to the government is to extend to another maybe one or two months so that... After the president increased the number of congregants meeting in the church, various le church leaders have come out to congratulate him, saying that this exercise has made them to go back um, to a position they were in earlier before the coronavirus hit. Speaking, they also asked Kenyans to continue observing the rules and regulations set there to ensure that the coronavirus doesn't spread. <laughs> Mwenyele Kashingiri, mchungaji wa PCEA Elbagon, nimeokoka. Leo, nataka kuchukua nafasi hii ama fulsa hii, kumshukuru mwishimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, mwishimiwa ma His Excellency Uhuru Mwilai Kenyata, kwa sababu ya kuweza kukubali makanisa ya, ya, ya weze ku ongeza idadi ya watu wanaoweza kuingia katika kanisa uh, from one third to two thirds na toa shukrani zangu sana kwa sababu hiyo imetusaidia katika huduma ambayo tunaifanya siku ya leo tumekuwa na ibada kuu ya kuwateua akina mama ndio waingie katika kikodi cha Women's Guild kikodi cha Women's Guild wakati tunawateua kina sehemu tatu sehemu moja ni ya kuwafunga wale ambao wamekuwa wakifuata kuwafunga vitambaa vya guild na pia kuna wale ambao walioteuliwa miaka iliyopita uh, na sasa walikuwa wanawekwa baji pia kuna kuwaleta wale ambao watafanyiwa kazi baadaye ndio wawe wafuasi kwa hivyo ni ni sherehe kuu ni, 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 ni ibada kubwa ambayo ni ya kuwaleta kina mama pamoja. Sherehe hii ama ibada hii tulikuwa tunataka kuifanya mwezi wa saba lakini kwa sababu ya issues ya covid na idadi ambayo ingekuwa ingeingia kanisani hatukuweza. Kwa hivyo sasa leo ndio tumeifanya na imekuwa ya kufana. Na pia bado tunawaambia watu ya kwamba waendelee kuvaa barako. Endelee ku keep social distance. Kwa hivyo hatukusahau ya kwamba covid bado iko ijapokuwa kwa saa hizi namba zimekuwa chache. Kwa hivyo ni shukran kwa, kwa sababu ya hiari ambayo yamewezekana ya leo tunamshukuru Mungu ambaye amekuwa upande wetu. Tuna, tulipokuwa tunafanya kazi the commander in chief in Moranga County has come out today to talk of the youths who have been seen trying to form back the illegal group Mungiki. She has told them that the government is so keen on this issue and that they're going to look into this matter. She also asked the parents to try and talk with their kids to avoid such cases. Hapa kigumo kusema kweli tuko na shida na ile shida ambayo iko sasa Nile shida ya vijana kuingia katika kundi ambalo limekatazwa kundi ambalo linaitwa mungiki na tumesikia kwamba wameanza kujiregroup wameanza kurudi na tunataka kuwaonya wale vijana ambao kwa sasa wameamua kuingia ama kurudi katika kundi hilo tunasema kwamba sisi tuko ngangari kama maofisa wa polisi na tutashirikiana na wazee na other stakeholders kuweza kuona kwamba tumemaliza ha, tumemaliza hii hali ambayo inaendelea sasa hii ya ukosefu ya usalama kutokana na wale vijana wameingia katika kundi la mungiki. mpango wa nyumba kumi ambao serikali ilikuwa imeleta inatuhimiza kwamba sisi wananchi katika jamii tukae pamoja na watoto wetu tukae pamoja na ndugu zetu na majirani wetu ili tuweze kutambua shida zetu na tutakapotambua shida zetu tuweze kujua ni jambo gani linasababisha hiyo shida 
A group of youths working for the community have come out and asked the government to help them, assist them, as since the COVID-19 came through, they have been badly affected. They have also not been able to secure jobs and that the technical jobs available have so many regulations and so they need the government to intervene in this matter. Yes, give the money so that we get the money, we start our own business, we will be helped. Sidi ukweli. Sasa tunashindwa kama vijana, saizi bado wako serikalini na wanaizo nguvu za kufanya hiyo kazi ambao wanatupromise wakati uo ukifika. Sasa mbono wasifanya saizi tunuliza kama safe vijana. Nambari ya pili, kuna hii mambo ya kwa elfu sita kwa kila wajiri wa vijana. Na hao bado wakuna nguvu ya kufanya hiyo kazi hata kama hawaje njia serikalini. Mbono wa sianze saizi kama mfano, ndo sisi vijana tujue kwamba wana ahadi za ukweli. Now that is all that we had for you today. Thank you for staying tuned with us up to this point. Remember, our SMS line is 0722442574 and that you can find us in our Facebook and YouTube pages at Gashie Prestige TV. Thank you. Good night. My name is Faith Chariot. You are watching GPTV, the most informative channel. You are watching GPTV, the most informative channel.